good morning in our previous classes we have discussed the valuation of uh, perquisites we have discussed the types of uh, perquisites taxable for all employees taxable for specified employees and uh, fully tax free perquisites under taxable for all employees we have discussed the different uh, perquisites and one we have taken that is rent free accommodation there are three situations we are we have first one how to value rent free accommodation for unfurnished rent free accommodation that we are discussed in our previous classes today we would like to discuss how to calculate the taxable portion of rent free accommodation of furnished house so in detail rent free accommodation is based on the population yesterday we had discussed so here same procedure we have followed but one thing is different value unfurnished accommodation yesterday we had discussed how to calculate unfurnished accommodation and uh, along with the amount of unfurnished accommodation we have to add back 10 percentage per annum of the cost of furniture cost of furniture means it may be tv radio or refrigerator or ac or other gadget whatever may be included in our room that is a material we have to uh, given in our problem cost of furniture so 10 percentage of cost of furniture is added to the value of unfurnished accommodation that is the value of taxable portion of value of furnished accommodation so logic is very simple if the problem is furnished house we have to follow the procedure for calculating the value of unfurnished house and along with we have to add back 10 percentage of value of uh, furniture that is the amount of taxable portion value of furnished accommodation clear the next uh, discussion if the accommodation is provided at hotel how to calculate rent free uh, accommodation taxable portion if the house is unfurnished accommodation it is not taxable it is not taxable if the hotel is furnished accommoda uh, taxable portion is actual charges paid or payable for such hotel or 24 percentage of salary clear this is the value uh, whichever is less which amount which these two variable is amount uh, is less will be the taxable portion of accommodation clear hotel accommodation is provided below 15 days on the transfer of employee from one place to another then it will not be taxable it is tax free so things or consideration given if the accommodation is exceeds 15 days and on not on the basis of transfer it should be considered for calculation of taxable purpose okay i think idea is clear that's all about uh, calculation of rent free accommodation all of you please be vigilant it will be asked for uh, exam as a problem the next uh, other taxable perquisites what are the other taxable perquisites first one amount paid by an employer in respect of any obligation second one assurance on the life of employees and third one use of mobile assets next free meals interest free or occasional loans holiday enjoyment etc see on by one amount paid by an employer in respect of any obligation amount of calculation is payment of employee hotel bill or club bill by the employer provided is not connected with employee's business payment of any loan due to due by the employee payment of education expense of employee's children 
payment of uh, salary to domestic servant of an employee, payment of employee income tax. All these amount paid by an employer in respect of any obligation with otherwise would have been payable by the employee. Okay. Then a uh, next uh, one that is uh, assurance uh, on the life of the employee. The amount payable by an employer directly or indirectly to effect an assurance on the life of the employee or to effect a contract for an annuity other than the payment made to recognized provident fund. It is another discussion. Okay. Provident fund amount. Then use of mobile asset. That means uh, an employer may provide any asset or any member of his household uses any mobile asset belonging to the employer or hired by him. The value of such perquisite shall be 10% of the actual cost of assets or the amount of higher charges paid or payable by the employer. However, any amount paid by employee should be deducted. It's a common logic. Okay. We do exclude the laptop and uh, computers. Clear. Then uh, next one that is uh, free meals provided at uh, uh, work site. Then uh, that means free food and uh, non-alcoholic beverages provided on office premises that is off, uh, site location or through non-transferable paid vouchers usable only at eating joints provided by the employer. It is exempted up to rupees 50 per meal per employee. Okay. More than that, it will be okay. Uh, taxable. Up to 50 per meal will be uh, exempted. Okay. The next one, interest free or occasional uh, loans provided by the employer to the employee interest free or concession loan provided by the employer to the employee or any other member of the household. In this case, small loans up to uh, 1,20,000. The perquisite value is nil. Likewise, if the loan is given for a medical treatment or disease prescribed in Rule 3, some specific diseases are prescribed in Rule 3, the value of perquisite shall be deemed to be Nil. In other case, the value of perquisite is the sum equal to the simple interest of loan computed at the rate per annum charges by the SBI as on the first day of relevant previous year on the outstanding monthly balance. That is the perquisite value. Okay. The next one that is a holiday enjoyment uh, uh, amount provided by the employee to the uh, uh, by the employer to the employee of traveling and uh, touring accommodation. That is an expenditure incurred for touring and uh, traveling. And uh, many uh, other perquisites are available in our textbooks. Go through the textbooks. Some important one we will discuss here. First one, uh, gifts, credit card, electronic gadgets and computers, employers' uh, contribution to the fund, any other benefit. See first one, uh, gift. Any gift which is provided by the employer to the employee, these are instances when employee provided a gift to the employee, exempt, it is exempted up to the amount of rupees 5000, more than that it will be taxable. Okay. Then uh, all these, all of you please uh, very vigilant, uh, some exempted portions we are discussed and the rest portions we are taxed. Okay. Then any amount which is uh, expended for uh, credit cards. Expenditure incurred by the employer in respect of credit card used by the employee, amount recovered from the employees may be uh, deducted. Okay, so actual expenditure incurred will be considered as a taxable portion of uh, perquisites. Okay. The next uh, uh, gadget, it includes computers and electronic gadgets we have discussed uh, before, uh, mobile assets. Okay, the actual cost of item to the employer reduced by the uh, 50 percentage of actual cost of such each completed year by reducing balance method that is the return on value method and the amount recovered from the employees will be reduced 
in the case of cars the value of progressive shall be worked out by reducing 20 percentage of its axle goes by reducing balancing method that is return value method for each completed year of use that is the amount of uh, uh, perquisite value then next uh, employers contribution to the uh, fund that is superannuation fund excess of rupees 150000 per year is taxable in the hands of all employees okay uh, up to 150000 is uh, uh, exempted excess amount is taxable any other benefit which is provided by an employer to the employee for his benefit uh, that is considered as a purchase value the value of such benefits like amenity service right or privileges shall be determined on the basis of cost of employer under an arm's length transactions as reduced by the employee's contribution if any amount is calculated okay so these are all the important perquisites taxable in the hands of all employees okay let us uh, conclude here itself thank you to all